Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Let's solve the problem. Find the most competitive subsequence. So given an integer array nums and a positive integer k, return the most competitive subsequence of nums of size k. An array subsequence is resulting a subsequence obtained by erasing some possibly zero elements from the array. So we define the subsequence a is more competitive than a subsequence v of the same length if it is the if in the first position where a and v differ and subsequence of a has number less than the corresponding number in b so for example we have uh, one subsequence 134 and another subsequence 135 so if you see 1 and 3 is same in both the subsequent while the 4 and 5 is differ and this subsequence has number less than this subsequence where they are differing so this subsequence 134 is more competitive than the 135 so it's mentioned like here so how we will solve this problem so let's look on this first example we have uh, array 3526 and we have to find all the uh, basically the more competitive subsequence of size 2 so one of the solution knife solution or the brute force solution you will generate all the subsequence uh, of size k which is 2 here uh, by erasing numbers from this so first we can generate a subsequence 3 5 another 3 2 and then 3 6 so 3 subsequence is starting with 3 similarly uh, uh, 5 2 and 5 6 2 subsequence starting with 5 is here and another last subsequence we can form start with 2 and 6 so if you see see all of the subsequence here the first element is differ which is 2 6 which is 2 6 and 2 is the smallest in all other rest of the subsequences of size k which is 2 so hence 2 comma 6 is our most competitive subsequence of this example and let's understand second one how we will generate so here we have to generate all the subsequence of size 4 so one of the approach we can generate lots of subsequence like from starting with 2 so like 2 then 4 3 3 we can skip there will be many cases so 4 we can skip the 4 then this will be 3 3 5 in another case we can miss for this first two element this will become 3 5 4 so if you are going to generate all the subsequence of size k this solution will be go in exponential way so this is not a correct like if we see the input sizes is very big so hence if we go with this uh, naive approach it will be definitely time out so we have to think a solution in linear time because the on is uh, so how we will think of the solution so what we are doing here we are greedily looking for first the minimum value if still we have rest of like if we first we will find the minimum value so this is our let's say minimum value then we will choose this value now second we will look for second minimum after this and whenever we are choosing the minimum so if we go here so this is the second minimum we can take this and still we have element and we selected two element and still we have two more more than two elements so we can take this now we will go further next minimum which is another three so we will take this three now we will go for uh, still we have l and many elements and we need one more element to come uh, form the subsequence of size k which is four so we can take this four so now if you see we took all the minimum element starting from left and going rightward and we found a subsequence of size four so this is the best most competitive subsequence among all so this is how we will uh, try to form so now how we will form like if we go every time try to find the minimum that will also create like uh, o of n square solution like first you find the minimum then select it then after that you start uh, and look toward the right side so what we can do solving this we will use a, a structure data structure storage so that we can easily look up so we will use here a stack so what we will do in a stack first if a stack has less than like number of file first we will check if the stack element is if the stack is not empty and the current element is greater than is less than basically so if current element is so current element let's say we are processing is n is lesser than the peak element if 
lesser than the, the peak top element of our stack then we will pop out because we are getting a more smaller element from the current element and only when we can do we will have a still like more elements so if we selected let's say number of element we already have in our stack some which is stack dot size so let's say this is stack dot size and the remaining elements we have to process if we are on running a iteration i if we are on some index i then the remaining element in our array will be n minus i so if this total is greater than k then only we will we will keep removing from the popping out the element from the stack and if this condition these two condition match and also stack is not empty so stack should be not empty so number of element is so this three condition we will together see and we will keep pop out if it is and then after that if it is uh, violated then we will just check the stack dot size if stack dot size is less than k the number of element we have to pick in our subset we will add into the stack so let's walk through this example in this way so first we got the two and still two is uh, there is no element in our stack two will go in the stack and now we will be on four so four is great greater than two but we have less than uh, k element so we will add four into the stack now we got the three and if you see the three is smaller than the peak element of our stack and also we have uh, many elements remaining which is like n is here 8 so 8 minus and the index is 2 which is greater than 4 yes so we will pop out this 4 and then we will go then the peak element is 2 and our current element is 3 so it's not greater then we will add 3 here now we are processing another 3 we will again add the 3 in the stack now we got 5 so we will add 5 as the number of element is less than the 4 so now it's 4 now we got another 4 so in this 4 if we see this 5 is greater so we will and also we, we are at index uh, here 3 to 5 so 8 minus 5 is still greater than 4 hence we will pop it out then we will look 3 is not greater than 4 so we will add 4 over here and 9 and 6 is greater so we will not add and because we already have reached the k element in our stack so these are the uh, four elements we will swear as a sub, uh, most competitive subsequent so this is the approach you can pause the video first and implement code very easy after getting the idea so let's quickly implement the code so for the code what we will do so here uh, for the stack let's use the stack and uh, integer stack so let's say st is a stack new stack and define the number of element in our array which is nums dot length and now start from the zeroth element int i int i is equals to zero i less than n and i plus plus so now first we will check while stack is not empty while stack is not empty so put the not empty while stack is not empty and and the current number we are getting in our nums of i is lesser than the stack dot peak element if it is and the number of element like stack dot size plus n minus i is greater than k in that case we will pop out stack dot pop the last top element and keep doing it if it is true and in the end here we will check if stack dot size is still uh, lesser than the k then we will add into the stack stack dot add the element which is our uh, element nums of i so once we add it that's uh, in the end we will get the k element in our stack and we will return them as a array so we can construct array either using the uh, traditional for loops and all i am using a java stream so we will run a stream here stack dot stream and then first map to int map to int and x to x then convert into array so take it as a two array so that is a way to convert a stream of numbers into a array so let's compile it code so it's working for this test let's try hit a submit directly and see and it got accepted so now that if you see the time complexity of this solution in worst case 
in not worst case like every time we will process all the element o of n and in worst case uh, o of k element in our stack so the time complexity of this solution is o of n the n is a length of our array and the space complexity is o of k so which is also o of n because n can go here uh, k can go up to n so that's it if you like the solution hit the like button and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching